You know, lots of people will, will, will have clutch work done when they don't need it. Uh, one, of the, one of the key reasons why is under, this is your, your master cylinder. This is the master cylinder for the clutch. Uh, and this is mounted against your firewall. And when you press, when you press the pedal inside, it actuates, it actuates and pushes fluid through the hydraulic system, which actuates your clutch. Now, this little $3 bushing from Ford... If this piece goes bad, and I know that I know a lot of people out there who have these these trucks know exactly what this little bushing is, and it's and you know sometimes Ford uses parts. This is the exact same part that they use on like an F-150 and an F gasoline F-250. They don't want to have to make separate parts for every single truck. They want to have a, a redundancy of parts through the entire fleet. On, a, on an F-150 that uses a, a smaller pressure plate and a smaller clutch, this particular system works wonderful and will work for years relatively, uh, relatively trouble-free. But when you start going to one of these big setups like they have that uses a lot more spring pressure and whatnot, there's a lot of pressure applied when you press the clutch on this bushing. And these bushings will wear out right here inside and cause a problem and, and lower the clutch pedal and make you feel as though it's time for a clutch when very often it's just this bushing. Now, if you're doing a lot of clutching, they have a fix. There's a fix available out there for about 50 bucks. You can buy this, buy this basically it's a hind joint, and what you do is you cut this shaft right here, and you, you put this part on there, and then on the, on the arm that comes across that has a little knob on it here, you, uh, you end up bolting it on. When you do this particular modification to your, to your clutching system, you will never, ever, ever, ever have this particular Mickey Mouse problem happen to you again. It's a wonderful fix. I uh, hope to have these available soon on my website. Uh, if I don't already, uh, and, and if not, uh, we will have a, a source from where you can obtain these. Uh, they're available on eBay on a, on a fairly regular basis. But fact of the matter is, is that's a wonderful fix for a very, very big problem, especially on the uh, first generation power stroke. Okay, we're going to illustrate here a common problem that stick shift Ford uh, trucks have. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's just one of these things that can be an intense aggravation if you have to cope with it. This is, a, this is the clutch master cylinder. Of course, you have a hydraulic clutching system in Ford trucks. And this is the clip, the clip. Anybody who's ever seen one of these knows what this is. If this, when these clips go bad from the constant pressure of pushing on the, uh, on the master cylinder, you, can, you, you feel as though your clutch is going bad. And for a $2 piece of plastic clip, you replace the clip and, and put it back inside here where it belongs, and it, and it fixes the problem. Okay, what happens is, is that you get, a, you get a, a sloppiness in here, and it can often lead to, over a long period of time, it can lead to a deformation of the, of the rod and a deformation of the, clip, of the, uh, of the uh, pivot here itself. What we have here is a modification that we're going to perform right now and illustrate to you how to go about fixing this problem and never, ever... Look at me when I say this. Never ever have to buy one of these damn little clips again. First thing we need to do is remove the pivot. And we're going we're gonna to take the bench grinder and we're going to grind this weld off of here where the pivot has been welded to the, to the arm here. And we're going to remove the pivot so that we have a place to put the, the, the bolt through for the heim joint. Now when you grind the weld off the back of this thing, you want to go to a point... Okay, where you can see the circle of where the rod came through. It's only welded on the one side. Then you take a punch and out she go. Now, we're ready to reinstall, reinstall this piece and using uh, the heim joint bolt. The bolt that is supplied with this is an extremely tight fit and you don't want to loosen it up. You don't want to drill it any bigger. So if you got to take the Allen, an Allen wrench and actually thread the thing through you do not want these pieces to be any looser than they absolutely have to be at this point we're going to have to go up underneath the dashboard you can do one of two things either you can remove the clutch master and it's an excellent time to do this project when you're replacing the clutch master okay now i'm going to go up under here with a cutoff tool okay like this here and clip off 
the tip right here of the damaged end here. Okay, now that the the end is shaved off here, we want to have this. We want to have the the part semi assembled here. Now, this part, this end of the rod goes all the way up here okay goes underneath the dash right there you see how there's a, a, a spline the arm itself will go over and be pulled onto those splines now you can see right here that we're about to we're about to go on the splines as we tighten this bolt up it's gonna go onto the splines and once it's there it's not gonna be adjustable so it's important to have all the pieces all the way slid on, have the clutch pedal all the way up, because otherwise, if you if if you put this on there and it's not adjusted correctly, then your clutch pedal is going to be unnaturally low. So you want to make sure that the heim joint is all the way onto the shaft as far as it can, and that you've got the splines ready to go. And then we tighten this nut down, and then we'll tighten down the uh, the set screw there, and we'll tighten down the. Uh, the nut that holds the uh, heim joint onto the arm. This is a repair and fix that will work, outlive, definitely outlive the clutch and probably outlive the truck. This is one of those things that once it's done, it's done, and that peculiar little idiosyncrasy about the clutching in this truck will never ever again be an issue.